Hey everyone, I got a video for you today uh, that will be showing you a very useful uh, data recovery technique uh, when it comes down to um, failed controllers. Uh, the controller is um, a part of a flash drive. In this case, it's positioned right here, it's that little square component on there. Uh, that is uh, operating the memory component, which is the one on the back. This is an extension cord for the USB. I'm going to plug this in right now. This LED right here is supposed to be flashing. And it's not flashing in our case. So, what I was able to find, um, this is a spare flash drive. I found two of them on eBay. Um, these are fairly old, so it's kind of hard to track down, but there was uh, a pair of them for sale for $4 each. Uh, I took one apart. There's really no nice way of taking them apart, uh, but here it is. It's an identical flash drive. It's got matching part numbers on the controller. It's got matching size. It's got matching board numbers. Everything is the same on this flash drive. So when I plug it in, we get the beep. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's uh, the window, removable disk, and open file contents. And as you can see, there it is. It's just empty. There's nothing on there. It's formatted. So I'm going to go right click, get properties off of it. It's a 4 gigabyte flash drive. Okay. So I'm going to close this up. disconnected we're gonna use this working flash drive as a donor platform to migrate this memory component onto Gonna add flux so that it flows a little better, easier to uh, remove the chip this way. This is our me good memory component from uh, from the donor drive. I'm going to set it here. This is our bad memory, well, hopefully the memory isn't bad, but it's off of the uh, bad board. On the pads where uh, they make contact with memory, uh, the solder is very uneven, we need to flatten it out, clean off the residue, clean off the access solder, uh, so that it's nice, even and flat.
also have to clean up the memory component as well. Okay, next step would be the cleanup, and uh, that is um, a very important step. A lot of times, you know, other people wouldn't do it, but I think it's very uh, crucial uh, to clean it up properly because uh, we use a lot of flux on this. When the flux uh, gets burned, it turns stuff. So uh, what we need to do is get rid of that uh, flux, and uh, the safest way, and uh, so that it's not so toxic for me to breathe this out. We'll just use um, this stuff. <laughs> it's uh, not for drinking. It's just electronics cleaner. I use a lot of products uh, made by this company uh, just simply because uh, they make really good product. Uh, this stuff uh, is very low residue, so when I do like head cleanups, this is a uh, really useful um, product as well because uh, engineering performance fluids uh, like 3M and uh, other brands that are super expensive, first of all, they, uh, they vaporize really, really fast. This stuff is just like uh, regular alcohol, you know, you, it, it, it dries quick, but you have enough time to kind of... Uh, lay it onto the head if we're performing like head cleaning processes uh, on hard drive heads and things like that. So um, I'll, I'm just gonna let it uh, soak for a very little bit. I'm not gonna let it sit there for a long time. Just gonna clean the surface off of it just to get the bulk of the stuff off. Like it's, it's also going to oxidize the bats a little bit, so I'm not too worried about it. New flux that we're going to lay on there is going to help everything bond without issues. My main concern was uneven spots caused by um, toughened up uh, flux. Right now, all we have to do really is just uh, put the unit back on the plate, um, solder it back together, and it's good to go. So, put it in the clamp. Stacked in, in place. Now we're just gonna have to go and uh, attach all of these pins, make sure that they're all attached. Usually, what I would do is I take a little bit extra solder on there, okay, and uh, I'll use a bit more flux on this. maybe
side is done. once again So everything is done. This is the uh, unit that we move the memory onto. Uh, the controller number, I'll quickly read it to you. It's 20820016262. Our cord. Here we go. Mounts right away. Data is visible. Just going to dump it real quick onto a local drive. Put it on the cloud, send it to the customer. Uh, if you have any questions or if you need uh, assistance with this stuff, uh, give us a shout. Our contact information is on the screen. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks.